Hello, I am Dr. Okeke Ifoma. Today we'll be talking about something basic and yet very important. I'll be talking about hand washing. More on hand washing when I return. Please don't go away, I'll be right back. Welcome back. Yes, we are talking about hand washing. Do you know that gems are everywhere? And the fact that you don't see them with your naked eyes doesn't mean they don't exist. They can get onto your hands and items we touch during daily activities and make you sick. Because hands are the most common means for the spread of these germs, cleaning hands at key times with soap and water or a hand sanitizer is one of the most important steps you can take to avoid getting sick and spreading germs to those around you. There are important differences between washing hands with soap and water and cleaning them with a hand sanitizer. For example, alcohol-based hand sanitizers do not kill all types of germs. Hand sanitizers also may not remove grease or harmful chemicals such as pesticides and heavy metals like lead. Hand washing reduces the amount of all types of germs, pesticides and metals on your hands. However, if you cannot wash your hands, using the hand sanitizer is okay if you use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Knowing when to clean your hands and which method to use will give you the best chance of preventing sickness. Where should you wash your hands? You should wash your hands not only when your hands are visibly dirty or greasy, but also before, during, and after preparing food. Before eating your food, before and after caring for someone who is sick, before and after treating a cut or wound, after using the bathroom, changing diapers, or cleaning up a child who has just used the bathroom, after blowing your nose, coughing or sneezing, after touching an animal, animal food or animal waste, and even after torching garbage. That leads us to the next question, which is, how should I wash my hands? Do you know that you may still have germs on your hands even after washing with soap and water? We must all learn the proper method for hand washing, and it is quite simple. First, wet your hands with clean running water, warm or cold, and apply soap. Then lather hands by rubbing them together with the soap. Scrub all surfaces of your hands, including the palms, the back, the fingers, between your fingers and under your nails. Keep scrubbing for 20 seconds. Need a timer? Hum the happy birthday song twice. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Finally, Rinse your hands under clean, running water and dry your hands using a clean towel or you can air dry them. If you're using a hand sanitizer, make sure it contains at least 60% alcohol. Supervise young children when they use hand sanitizer to prevent swallowing alcohol, especially in schools and childcare facilities. Now apply the hand sanitizer to your palm. Put enough product on hands to cover all surfaces. Then rub your hands together until they feel dry. This should take around 20 seconds. Note, do not rinse or wipe off the hand sanitizer before it is dry. Now the next time you need to wash your hands, you know how to do it, give it a try. That's it on this episode of Hand Washing. I am Dr. Okeke Chinelo Ifoma. Thank you for watching. See you next time.